since last night's tribal went exactly as I hoped. I pitched to Mike that we should go after Andy and um, pitched everyone else that we should go after Mike. It was Jess that uh, approached me and said it was going to be Mike. So I was like, oh, I'm stoked. I was like, I didn't want to go home. Last night, Mike was definitely just being fake with me, which is fine. Like, good play, respect, but it was pretty obvious to me so how good of a play was it you know <laughs> and <laughs> since merge mike has been like matt i like you i want to work with you i just can't do it yet but next round we're gonna chat we're gonna do this and that happened like three rounds in a row and eventually last night like right at the beginning of the round i was like mike we are here now there's seven people left this is the time to make a move i don't have any autonomy right now and you've told me the past few rounds that you're gonna work with me what do you want to do and he just immediately was like I could just tell he, like, didn't actually want to do it. I knew his name was coming up, um, and he told me my name was coming up. And honestly, that's where most of the paranoia came from. I felt like I felt really good until the moment he told me that my name was coming up. And I couldn't figure out why. In hindsight, I think I do know. I think that Jess didn't believe he would believe it was the Greens. So, like, now... Now I'm putting it all together. I wasn't sure exactly who Mike may be connected to more than I am, or bonded to more than I am. Um, looks like the connections that I have made, I, that I felt strongly about, were solid. This last round, Jess probably added to her resume a lot. And, um, and uh, I think Andy lowered his resume a lot. I, I don't think he's been like on the strategic forefront of a single thing. Not only was I able to get Mike out, I was also able to flush more advantages that Andy keeps finding. Just watching me fall apart. You're funny. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, and I felt so bad because I wasn't going to be like, yeah, you're fine. <laughs> I misplayed two more advantages. Uh, I feel like I'm trying to set a record for the most uh, poorly played advantages in a game. It basically sends a message to the people that I'm working with that, hey, I don't fully trust you, um, which is you know, not ideal. So Andy is so aware. He is checking everything, and he's good about being not obvious about it. It was by the, uh, the water jug. Oh, yeah. <sighs> always have any of these problems. Like a couple you found one on the water Yeah, it was right there. How many people walked by that? Well, I mean, I saw it at Tribal. So I looked over and it was right there. And he saw it at Tribal and watched as all of us got our water and just watched the idol there. And we all, none of us even noticed it. The one benefit uh, to having thrown away all of my advantages in such a, a poor manner is that um, I think that I can argue, like, look how bad a game I've played, right? Like, look, like, what have I done? I've, I've messed up constantly. Like, it's, it's been just a, a comedy of errors. I think Andy might be the easiest beat at the end. And so I think I want to try to get as far as possible with him and Matt. And I think I think the next three boots in no particular order should probably be Mary Ellen, Jess, and Delaney. Mm -hmm. No freaking way did I think I would make it this far. Yeah, I, mean, no I was hoping for way. jury and then I was hoping for single digits. Yeah. I'm trying to like it right now. It's <laughs> yeah. Like, it's so it's oh my, this has yeah. been amazing. Yeah. yeah. Such a dream. And all of you have been amazing. I know. Yes. Yeah. Last night um, at camp was super camaraderie. Um, we were all just so proud to be here, that we've come this far, that we've gotten out of our elements, um, that we've made it this far in the game. And we all slept together in a kumbaya circle, basically, under the stars, around the fireplace, or around the fire pit. What are you guys going to do with the million dollars? Pay off the debt. Yeah. Yeah. Maybe yeah. buy a sandwich. Yeah. Yeah. Definitely. Somebody get a pizza, <laughs> a burning hamburger. Yeah. <laughs> well, we were all around the fire, and 
last night before bed, uh, we were like all looking at the stars and we saw a couple of shooting stars and stuff. And when we were all next to each other, obviously no strategy talk. And so it was really nice to just like, we felt like we were all taking the night off to like actually get some rest and stuff. Like there's so many questions I want to ask you guys, but I also want to like save it until we're out of the game. <laughs> just, I don't know, just because I... Like, well, no. Give it I, a dimple. Well, <laughs> just like, just stuff that, like, preparation and like, mm -hmm. literally, I like, I want to know about, like, gameplay and fears and that kind of, just... I just thought I was going to be out first. That was my only thing. <laughs> yeah. I just wanted to get past day one. <laughs> I was like ready to like chill and like smoke and stuff and like watch the game. Yeah, yeah. But I'm really proud to get to the last thing. Yeah, I honestly like getting getting this far is huge. Yeah. Huge. Yeah. Congrats sure. everyone, huge. truly. Yeah. So cool. Yeah. So, it is cool. so cool. Like we're gonna watch the show and know we're getting to top six. Yeah. Yeah. I know. Oh my god, that's so cool. I can't wait to watch that's it. so yeah. cool. Yeah. It's gotta like they're Relative. not gonna come out all at once and the whole time we're gonna know it's gonna be. like we are there at all. <laughs> yeah. And I do feel like the nights are the times where there is that like a little bit of peace descends all over everyone and we're able to like kind of open up a little bit more and get to know each other a little bit better. Yeah, I feel like the, yeah, the first two for you, for y'all, were like... I loved Larry. Larry, he yeah, Larry. He literally, and then, yeah, he, he got, started the, like, yeah, the yeah. first thing I heard him say was like, Hi, I'm Larry, this is my dream to be here. Yeah. And he, yeah. yeah, and then he just tried so hard that he got, like, sunstroke, right. really. Yeah. And, uh, he, he was supposed to be on the cast of, I, I didn't... Was there the COVID cast or whatever? Yeah. That, I, yeah. I, I, I was okay, also yeah. supposed to be on and, that. Yeah, and yeah. so he finally got here and then... Hopefully he doesn't get far again. Yeah. I'm not sure how long he's going to do it again. I can't imagine. Yeah. And I'm sure she'd want to give him a yeah. right. go at it. Like, it, that's a double-edged sword, right? Like, now I have to, like... I like all these people even more, which makes it even harder to want to take them out. I think every single one of those people has a very good case. Um, I think Delaney and Jess have both been playing both excellent social games and excellent strategic games. Jess is my totally my number one, um, but she's also really intimidating. <laughs> so I feel like sitting next to her could also put me at a disadvantage. I feel like I play a pretty loyal game. I've made strong connections with the people that I'm with. And I did from the start, and I think that's what's brought me here. Um, obviously, you, Survivor isn't a loyalty game. Only one person wins in the end, so you're gonna have to break some bonds. Um, and it's just how I'm going to strategically put those. Like, I mean, Andy has to be next, but how am I gonna put that in motion? is the question. I do feel like my bond with Dan is definitely stronger than um, Andy and Dan's bond. Um, I think I have made a more personal connection with Matt and Mary Ellen as well. I think that, you know, Matt and Mary Ellen have both been on the bottom the whole time. But, um, like, you know, some, sometimes the game you're allowed to play is dictated by the circumstances you're presented with. And so they've been able to survive. You know, sometimes that's all you can do um, is get the target off of you, let the bigger targets fall. And they're both so nice and so likable. The biggest threat would be Delaney. Um, I think she's very likable. She's also good in challenges. I think the biggest threats are the people in my alliance, which is Andy and Jess. Um, and I think Mary Ellen, in a lot of ways, is a pretty decent threat. Like, she's made really good connections, and we, every single time somebody talks about Mary Ellen, it's just like, it's just with so much love and respect for her, and um, a lot of excitement for her to be able to live out her dream and win in front of her family, and I, we would all love to see that. I'd like to go to the end with Dan, um, just because I, I don't really know much about him. Um, he just seems more quiet, kind of laid back. Um, so Dan would be one. Um, I'd really like to go with Matt because we've just stuck it out this whole thing. Um, so Matt, I would say Matt and Dan. Um, yeah, Dan is the one I think I could beat. My resume is a 
it's not as good as I want it to be, but in some ways that's good because um, I, I think that keeps my threat level low now so I can pivot off of that better for these next coming rounds. Running out, running out of time to do it. I feel like I could take Dan out um, so only because I think he's... And I don't know his gameplay when I wasn't on his tribe during the switch, but when I was on his tribe and during the merge, a lot of his gameplay has been a little, a little timid and kind of like a, you know, sounds good or I'll go in that direction with you guys or um, I, just more like nodding along instead of um, really making his own gameplay. So I think if I were to sit next to him, that would probably be something that I would bring up. I think in a similar way, maybe same with Maddie. I love Matt. I really love Matt. But I think I could possibly beat him in the end for a similar reason that he's been on the bottom and leading up to tribal. It's been like, just give me a name and I'll put it down, which is a gameplay. Like he's survived. So I think he's playing his game and it that's it's he's done amazing. But um, if I were to ride the same wave of people taking initiative and making moves and stuff like that. Um, I think that that would be something that I would voice to the jury if I were to sit next to those two. This, like, I've already checked off everything off my my game list. So, well, actually, no, I haven't found an idol. Well, I can actually, I, I did kind of find an idol last night under the, the fire pit rock. I feel like I have to let a secret out. Oh, yeah. Okay, I haven't said anything yet, so I'm really excited. Um, I found it in, we had like a like a drying rack over our fire that was being held together by rocks on either side. And um, we were moving the rocks to make the fire pit a little bit bigger, uh, so just so we could get some bigger logs on there. And it was it was dark out and I'm really like moving them and I moved one of the rocks and it just fell over. And like I looked at it and Jeff looked at it at the same time and we both just started laughing. <laughs> and we we're just like, oh, thinking that everyone saw it. So we were just like, oh, like, oops. And then nobody picked up on it. So I just walked over and stepped on it and she put a piece of birch onto it. And she's like, maybe we can use birch for the fire. And she put it on there and I was like, okay, time to get my sleeping bag out. And I think we did a little bit of a sneaky snake. So I guess that counts. I still found it. <laughs> I know I got to meet him for an individual unity challenge. I pulled off a big blind side. Um, and I just had the time of my life. So I, it's all just like, I'm just so happy from God. Like, so winning a survivor would just be the icing on that cake. But I, I'm very happy that she knows that I have it because she's, I think she's my number one. I hope I'm her number one. I want to go to the end with Delaney. And I think she thinks the same way. So I'm hoping that that pulls out in the end and hopefully Eddie doesn't win the individual immunity and he'll be the next out. I think getting Andy out now would be good. I also think getting somebody else besides Andy out right now would be good so he could maybe go next round but with how good he is at challenges I feel like that could be really stressful. All right, Delaney, I'll take back the necklace. Funny that it's a bug and you had to eat bugs to get it. I know. <laughs> yeah. All right, for your first challenge of the day, we're going to be um, standing on the different colored platforms, holding the, the ball holder and balancing the ball on top. The last person with their ball still on the top wins immunity. Sound good? Sounds good. Okay. We're going to drop our spots. Go ahead and put it on and I'll count you in. All right, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, one, and this challenge is on. <laughs> and Mary Ellen is out with no shot at individual immunity.
Dan with a lot of movement. Andy's moving around a little. Ah. A lot of movement from Matt, yikes. Oh. Dan's got a lot of nice recoveries happening. Dan is out. Can I ask who's still in? Everybody except for Mary Ellen and Dan. Thank you. You're welcome. Okay, we're fine. Some movement from Delaney and Jess for the first time. Matt's continuing to get movement. It's never stopped yet. <laughs> get a little break. <laughs> Matt is out. <laughs> Andy with some movement. There is no way for not to get a short I'm so sorry. We've been doing this challenge for five minutes now. Jess with a lot of movement all of a sudden. And a nice recovery. I don't know why. Delaney with a lot of movement. Jess drops. No shoes <coughs> at individual immunity. Andy and Delaney still fighting. We've now been at this for 20 minutes. At the 25 minute mark, you're gonna lower your hand so that it's touching the bottom of the pole. It's a live transition. You can use your other hand to do it. Um, but if you drop while you're doing it, you are out of the challenge. And you have one minute until we do that. All right, so I'm gonna count you down. When I say, when I get to zero, your hand will have to be at the bottom or you'll be out. 10, nine, eight. Delaney drops. Andy wins individual immunity. All right, Andy, come on up. You're welcome, congratulations. We'll give you some time to strategize and then we'll head to tribal council.
Well, we just uh, finished the immunity challenge, and uh, boy, is my arm tired. So glad to come out on top. I feel like after last tribal where I you know, played my idol and I didn't need to show my tribe that I didn't fully trust them, uh, that probably burned some bridges right there. Congrats. Thank you. Thank you. He slayed that. So what are you thinking? I've already voted for Jess. I'm not opposed to if you were open to Delaney even too, because she just almost beat you. Yeah. Um, if you're good at them and we feel good, I'd rather you keep winning because I don't think I'm going to be winning any of these. Yeah, I'm... I'm I also, so, I don't know. It's kind of up to you. I feel a little unsure of picking who, but I'm fine okay. with either of those two. Well, let's, yeah, let's bring Dan in here and see what he thinks. I think uh, if we let the greens get too far, yeah, I don't know, like, yeah, I'm kind of going to have support on the jury. Like, mm -hmm. And if we keep taking this, you know, each other out, it's like something, you know, we're not going to have the numbers anymore. So... Mary Ellen? Yeah. Are you okay with that? I'm okay. Okay. At this point, um, it's getting down pretty close to the end. And it's like, okay, so we we made like a couple a couple moves in a row now. Um, we should probably we should probably go back to like voting out one of the greens because it's like at this point uh, at, at this point, like they, they've got the good underdog story. They're both very well liked in the game. And um, I think I think if we just keep taking out each other right now, at, we're gonna reach a point where we lose we lose the leverage. And um, I, I don't wanna lose <laughs> lose the leverage. Come here then. Yeah. <laughs> we're still saying yeah. Jess or Delaney, which yeah. one would you prefer of the two? Uh, I was talking to Mary. Yeah, I was hoping you guys were. Yeah, and uh, we, were, we were thinking Delaney. Okay. It's just like, they're both good at competitions. But yeah. I think Delaney is just way more threatening than Brian. And she's like, just listening to her speak. Like, did, did you go to school for this? Like, yeah, yeah. You're yeah. So, I mean, she draws people in. Yeah. 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 yeah her I mean, like sparkle, you know? Yeah. 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 It, I mean, it doesn't really matter to me because the two of them are yeah. both very good at stuff. And they're, good. they're kind of the whole package, so. Yeah, let's do that. I feel like I really didn't have much autonomy at this merge um, going forward. And I don't think that's a bad thing. Um, I feel like when you don't have autonomy, the focus should be on deflecting votes instead of aiming at somebody. And so that's what I've been really focusing on. I don't want anybody pissed at me specifically so that they go run and say something to somebody else to get it on me. Oh, that's off the board. All right, that's what it is. Yeah, that's what it is. Or just, like, you know, hang on here for a minute, I guess. Yeah, exactly. But yeah, she's a big fan. I love her. But, okay. She's a beast. And she'll get, she'll get one. I love her. Absolutely. She's very likable. I think what needs to happen is I need to take out a some some bigger threats so that they're they're not sitting there at the end with me, and B, I I need to sort of put my foot down and like really go for like a move that like I want to happen. How are you feeling? Yeah. 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 <laughs> no, but I <laughs> This was me that did it and it wasn't just like other people telling me what to do. Yeah. See, this is oh, unless it broke. Absolutely. Okay. Oh, so it's it's basically my name. Yeah. This is yeah, my got my one for her. It wasn't yeah. going to actually yeah. catch that. Um, <laughs> no, no, no. And I just took it out of this I'm not not very good. I heard yeah. everything, but I don't know. Um, I like to get down and I like to keep mad because I think 
Right. 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 So what do you think? So we either got about that or down. Yeah. I think I think it would be better. I I don't know if we could get mapped as oh at the rest. Oh yeah. But I would obviously I'm okay with both being down. Okay. I know that sitting next to him would be easy. Right. But if we can I guess I'm speaking for myself. If I can stay alive, but and then we can try to get Andy up next time. Just I, mean, I know it's a way from there. I try to go with yeah, women too. Like that's I that's what I don't want to say. Yeah. Just, yeah. I don't know. I don't want to. All right. So if you think you should do Dan, yeah. I'm gonna talk to Matt, or you guys can talk to Matt. I haven't yeah. written Matt's name down. I don't. Yeah. Um, that's not my. Like, so last Dan. Mm-hmm. And like I said, I'm pretty sure Matt would be on board. Delaney, Jess, Mont, Matt, and I devote Dan. Um, but for my game, I believe I could beat Dan in the end. What? Who do they want, Delaney? They want Delaney. Yeah. Delaney is a big threat. And that might be smart, actually. She is a big threat, and I, I think she's likable. Okay. And for the jury, and I think she'll get votes. Yeah. All right. Oh, as much as I hate to, yeah. Okay. Um, yeah. Go chat around. Okay. <laughs> oh, yeah. So right now the talk is um, Andy, Dan... Matt and I um, voting Delaney um, because she is a big threat um, and I know she would get jury votes because she's such a social person. So going into this end game, six people left. I'm assuming it's final three. It very well could be final two. I want somebody at the final two with me that I also would want in the final three. And so right now I'm just prepping for it as if it's a final three, hoping it is. So in my mind, I'm kind of thinking like, my game isn't very flashy, but I know I have things to talk about to the jury. The jury knows stuff about me that the people in the game currently don't. And if I can get to the end with people who think I didn't do anything, but they really like me, they might bring me to the end. And so right now I'm kind of thinking that Dan and Mary Ellen might be people to go to the end with, but if not Mary Ellen, I'd love to go to the end with Delaney, because I'd just love to see her win if I couldn't. Come here. Are you good? Are good? We're good. You're in danger right now. I know. We're good. And Marilyn doesn't want to go home. And I want it to be Andy right now, but he can't. I'll just let go. I would prefer it to be Jess right now, just because I think Dan is beautiful for us. Okay. I'm nervous that it might be not possible still. So you really have to look for idols or something. I want to go with you. Okay. You might also want to play something. You're shot in the dark. Yeah. And I'll tell you. Yeah. Okay. 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 I think Delaney, Dan, and now maybe Jess, and obviously Mary Ellen, are keeping my names out of people's mouths. My point of view. Yes. I wanted Andy out. Me too. And obviously that's not possible. I told Dan. I just want to be transparent with you about that. So 
I don't know if you think she'd vote you. I don't know what she'd do right now. I think that she would, like, maybe go for Delaney if they actually want that. And so I would then tell her, I was like, I mean, I'd prefer not to do that. But if you think we should, I just need to tell her, if, like, I need her to tell me if she actually wants to. And she, I think, she's looking towards Delaney. Come here. A little bit of a pickle. I think, I think Mary Ellen's afraid that she can't beat anyone but Dan. Matt is willing to give you a shot in the dark. I think we have to get rid of Dan. So we go with Mary Ellen and vote Dan because I don't think we can sway it the other way right now. Mary Ellen vote Dan. Oh, well, Mary Ellen vote Dan. Do you think? What are you saying? Do you think Mary Ellen will vote Dan? Just so you know, I, I think she doesn't want to go home next? Yeah. I think you're kind of free. I, I know, I know. I just need to slide right to my face. <sighs> Same with Dan. Same with yeah. Dan. I'm like, it's okay. Boy's lying. It's, it's very <laughs> telltale sign, maybe. Right. Um, Strategy going in. We gotta, I want to eliminate Delaney. I was actually, this time I actually didn't just tell someone to their face who was going to vote sure? for him, so that was a big step forward for me. So here we go. See how it goes. Well, it's like if all three of us vote Dan, Will you guys keep me safe at four? I, yes. I'm not okay. voting for you. Okay. I'm not voting for you. I'll vote for you. Actually, I'm not voting for you. we might be good with three three. It goes to After, rocks. I'm not. I, I don't want to go to rocks. I don't want to go to rocks. I can't go to rocks at six. Um. I know I'm tied to Mary Ellen. I never want to vote for her. I want her at the end of this game. I just seemed a little nervous, but I couldn't tell if that was just because of how far we were. Are you using speed Yeah, But yeah, we're all we're good. I just hope the vote goes as planned. All right, come on in. Uh, and now we'll bring in the jury. Trisha, Stephanie, Justin, Will, and Mike voted out at the last tribal council. Okay. Um, is anything anyone wants to start out with? Looks like Delaney and Matt might have something to say. I'm just scared. <laughs> you're what? I said I just, I'm scared. <laughs> so does that mean you're feeling vulnerable? Yeah. Yeah. Can you talk about that some more? Um, I mean, we're just getting down to the wire here, and everyone here is a really good competitor. And I feel like being second to last in a challenge when there's this many, you know, like when there's this few people, it, I don't know, it's hard on your back, I guess. Uh, Mary Ellen, is that something that you agree with? Does that make Delaney a target? Yeah, a little bit, because she is a strong competitor. We all know that. I mean, she's good in challenges, and she plays a good social game as well so but I think in our own way we are all threats in this game and unfortunately the only one safe tonight is Andy <laughs> how does that feel Andy it feels great um yeah this little bug in me I've created a bond um I don't want to let it go I know I'll have to again but um yeah it's uh it really like change, it can change how you think about the game, which can be dangerous in its own way. Um, but being safe does, you know, yeah, I don't know. It just feels great. So, Mary Ellen and Matt, are you starting to feel like, um, rather than the old, the previous tribal splits that you're, that we're all feeling, that it's all, everything's a little more fluid, um, and you're kind of fitting in with the old Azaban tribe? There's definitely a lot of camaraderie last night around the fire. I think fire brings us together. Um, we had a lot of just cute chats last night. I think we might have formed some 
parts, hopefully, to people who might be on it. Oh, <laughs> um, if not, don't send me home. <laughs> um, but yeah, no, I, I feel like we have been the only two from the tribe for a minute now, and so there's only less people each round to try to help us out and shoot a lot of blanks this season, but um, still shooting. <laughs> all that matters. Yeah, we definitely, you know, got to know each other pretty well. Um, but I think in the end, we're probably all still pretty bonded to our original tribes. Um, and I think that's usually most of the time how it is. You know, we just have the heart with our original group. That's who we started with. That was, you know, the biggest part of the game. And so, yeah. Who right now is the biggest threat to win the game to you? Who's the most threatening? The one with the immunity necklace. Because he has the immunity necklace or because it's Andy? Both. <laughs> How do you feel about that, Andy? Um, yeah, I guess that's flattering. Yeah, I don't know. Um, I feel like my game's been a little sloppy so far. <laughs> um, I have played some advantages all incorrectly um but you know I, I i can i also have won a couple immunities here um so yeah i don't know everyone everyone does their calculus different or most people should do calculus the same but everyone does their uh you know, strategizing in the game of survivor a little differently so every tribal i ask if there's been any talk about idols or advantages and you always say yes um, so I'm going to make it a little different this time. This is the last round that you are eligible to use the shot in the dark. Do we think that that's going to come into play during this tribal? It should. Anybody that doesn't have a necklace and has a shot in the dark probably should be using it. <laughs> Do we think that's going to happen? I mean, we didn't think it would happen past rounds and we see a lot of them played this season, so I don't know what to do. <laughs> I think the odds are high that at least one will be played. This is when your odds are the highest, so. Yeah. Right. It's better, better than this. And what are some characteristics that you all think that the jury is going to respect in the end of the game? I think they'll respect your strategic gameplay, how you might have played socially, physically, how you can communicate the moves that you made so that to present it to them, that they understand why you made them and how it got you here. Anybody else? I mean, it, it, it's a little tough because each each juror is so unique in how they approach the game. So it, it's sort of just like you have to weigh so many different variables trying to figure out like, okay, this juror would respect this. This other juror might not respect that, but would respect this other thing. And it's calculus. Anybody else? I think also uh, self-awareness. So not only did you play a good game, but you understand the game that you played. I think that's really important. Um, so, but you know, but that takes into factor all the outwit, out play out last. So we'll have to see. All right, last chance. Okay, we'll vote. Andy, you're up.
It's only to the end if we make it through this travel. Okay, I'll go tally the votes. All right, if anybody has an idol or an advantage they would like to play, now would be the time to do so. <laughs> Since it's the last time we can use it anyway. Uh, not safe. Not safe. All right, so any votes cast for Mary Ellen will still count. Anyone else? Okay, I'll read the votes. First vote, Delaney. Dan. That's one vote Delaney, one vote Dan. Delaney. Two votes Delaney, one vote Dan. Dan. That's two votes Delaney, two votes Dan, one vote left. The 11th person voted out of Surviving Maine 2022, and the sixth member of our jury is Dan. <gasps> You can grab your stuff. Good job, guys. Good job, Dan. All right, Dan. The tribe has spoken. Wow. Good game, Dan. Good game, Dan. Good game, Dan. All right, you can head to your mat. I'm at peace. 